are going to do a split trigger. And this is the circuit diagram for split trigger. Therefore, this is a sinusoidal waveforms in the input side. This is a inverting terminal from the sinusoidal. And this is a circuit diagram. And expected waveforms, you will get it. This is the input waveform and this is the output waveforms. And you see that here, I, as in the theory class, I told you that in our case, the four. 4 is the UTP value and minus 4 is the LTP value. Therefore, as, as the input waveform crossing 4, the output is changing to low. As it is crossing minus 4, the output is changing to high. That is the things you have to get in the... Now we are coming to that before because in this case, both the channels, one channel, one channel you have to get the input waveform, you have to connect here, another channel you have to get the output waveform, it will be connected here. Now I am coming to that, one thing, one thing is connected, is very important that, these are pin numbers, this pin number, this is this, pin number 7 should be connected to plus 12, pin number 4 should be connected to minus 12, and this is the pin number 2, this is the pin number 3, and this is the pin number 6. This is the pin number 6. Then you can see that 1 and 5 are not connected. 1 and 5 are not connected. Then next, let us let us come to the connection. Yes, we, 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 re we want a regulated power supply also because plus 12 and minus 12 also required. And we require a, uh, that functional generator also. And, and you have to connect it here. Then, then we require an oscilloscope, both the channels. Already, Already to shown that how to adjust the oscilloscope and the functional generator that is very important before you are, before you before you uh, uh, start your experiment the oscilloscope and the functional generator should be properly should be adjusted otherwise no question of any getting output therefore lagging I let me check that oscilloscope and the functional generators are in the proper or not the first let me check it once again. Let me check once again. I am directly connecting that oscilloscope and functional generator. If I just put any press here, that both the channels are there, and I can connect any of the channels. Therefore, directly the red is there and the black is black. It sinusoidal signal should come. Sinusoidal signal should come. Uh, sinusoidal signal, should, you see that this is a big sinusoidal signal, you can make it smaller by this. Therefore, you see the height is also big, therefore you can make it this. this is a prop, this, therefore, you are getting a you are getting a proper sinusoidal signal, then leave it. Then, then we will go for a correct connections. Then these are perfect, these are perfect. Now we come to this, this is a, this is a 741 being placed here. Then first you come to that pin number 4. Pin number 4 is to be connected to the minus 12 volt. Minus 12 volt. Therefore, this is a power supply. We are connecting to the minus 12 volt. We are connecting to the minus 12 volt. And then, then this is 7. 7 we are connecting to plus 12 volt. We are connecting to plus 12 volt. Then this this is this is 2. And you can see here, you can see a 6. 6 is your output. Therefore, just you connect it here, 6. And you can see that in between in between 6 and 6 and 3. In between, you can look at that, the pin number 6 and 3, R2 has been connected. What is the value of R2? R2 is the 3. Therefore, I am connecting R R2 between 6, 6 and 3. Therefore, you cannot, cannot connect 6 and 3 here. Therefore, we extend, extend that, extend it to, extend the 6, extending the 6 here, extending the 6, 6 point, pin number 6, I am extending to here because the resistance between this is the this is the six this is six this is also six because i am extending here and between six and three you can see six and three a 
resistance of 3 kilo ohm is connected. 3 kilo ohm is been connected. And you can see that in between 3 and ground, again another resistance is there, and 2 kilo ohm because I don't, we don't have 2, two kilo ohm, 2 kilo ohm uh, uh, in the lab, therefore 1 kilo ohm, 1 kilo ohm can be, can be taken in series, therefore from 3, from 3, therefore 1 in series, another one, it will become 2 kilo ohm, 2 kilo ohm, it has been connected here, and that we are, give, we are connecting here. And be careful that this is the pin number one, two, three, four. Pin number, pin cannot be used. Other end should not be connected to the other pins. Therefore, I am, these are not allotted to the pins, pin numbers. Are you clear? Therefore, you, I can connect it here. Therefore, one is connected to, and that other end is going to ground. Other end will be going to the ground. Therefore, this end, other end will be going to the ground. That means R1, one end is connected to the three, other end of the R1 is coming, going to the ground. And ground you can use, this one you can use as a ground. This one you can use as a ground. That in the regulated power supply, that grounding is there, you can use this as a ground. Then, then this is the, uh, this is the connections. Now you come to the output side, you have to make, you have to see the output, which is the output, output already I connected. Now you come to the, given as an input side, input has to be given from the two. You connect in, connect in uh, uh, connecting wires here also. This is the two. Therefore, Therefore, two I why I'll connect two I'll connect to the functional generator because sinusoidal signal will be given from two. Then other end will be going to the that grounding. Then you come to the this is the input has been given here, but I have to I have to input I have to see the waveforms the input waveforms because input wave and output waveform both are required here therefore wherever you connect it the functional generator the same place the red is connected to the red and the black is connect same place you connect to the black therefore in therefore channel number one I, I, I am taking as channel number one I am taking as the input waveforms the output waveform will be taken from the output waveform will be taken in the channel number two Channel number two, uh, what is the output, which, which, which is the output waveforms? Output waveform is the six. This is the six, therefore six is connected here. Red one and, and, the, and, and, the, and the black one is connected one. You can see here, pin number five and pin number one is not connected. Then you give a, give a power supply. Hmm, it is give a power supply here. Uh, you can see the frequency almost is a 50 hertz. Uh, you can you can increase. There is nothing. Uh, it is it is it is 50 hertz. Approximately it is a 50 hertz. Now you give the uh, there is regulated power supply. You make it on. Then you you that is also make it on. Then channel number one. Channel number one, immediately you are getting, you see the channel number one, you are getting a, red one is the channel number one, you are getting a sinusoidal waveform, but the channel number two, it is a big one, therefore make it a, make, make it a square waveform. Are you getting same type of waveforms, are you getting as expected waveforms, you are getting here also. Are you clear? This is a complete smith figure. Another very important thing, you listen, look at that, another important thing. You look at that, another important thing, you look at that here, you look at that here, you positioning here, after positioning here, properly position here, uh, this is why positioning here, you can look at that very interestingly, that when it is crossing 4 volt, it is coming down, when it is crossing minus 4 volt, it is going up, that means as, is, as the input waveform crossing the UTP, it is going down, as it's crossing the LTP, it is going up. Whatever expected waveform, the same waveforms also here we are getting. Okay. Please.